<laughs> you know, um, Joe, I believe that this is like, this isn't about the customer. It's about Twitter. Like, it, like yeah. somebody, like, there's going to be somebody who goes, oh, I was on Air Canada. They said, ladies and gentlemen, they didn't, they didn't address me as a non-binary elf woodland creature. <laughs> it's, how dare they? It's so ridiculous. But I know next time I fly Air Canada, I'm going to tell them I identify as someone with a first class ticket. Oh. <laughs> I would like to see that in the United States because, ladies and gentlemen, I look at the way they have us fly. It's a little formal for the way people fly. I've never been sitting in my seat getting squashed by some guy in Crocs who hasn't bathed with his stomach muffin topping over the armrest and, and thought, ooh, what a gentleman. I, I feel like I'm sitting next to Fred Astaire. Ooh. You Joe, last word. Uh, Joe Biden is a perfect example of a man who was born to be vice president. <laughs> He's like a, a, a really good backup quarterback mm -hmm. that he's been around, he yeah. knows the system, but you do not want to put him in. <laughs> he's, he's there. He holds that clipboard. That is so good. That is so yeah. good. Let's not forget, Joe, Dave Matthews' tour bus took a crap all it over did. a bunch of people. Remember that? Yeah, it did. It spilled they out. Dumped their, <laughs> they dumped their sewage. Yeah. Still better than listening, though. <laughs> <laughs> Metalheads don't get enough credit. When yeah. Rob Halford came out as gay, no one cared. Yeah. And I don't know if it was because it was the album uh, Ram It Down or Hell Bent for Leather that gave us the clues we needed <laughs> to say we're, oh, we're okay with him being metal and gay. I would, all, all the, all the, 